Hi, I'm Dave Shuttler. I'm the urban landscape entomologist here at The Ohio State University. I often go by the professional nickname of the Bug Doc. And today what I'd like to do is show you a problem that we're seeing coming up in turf grass. Now we're here in the first week of September and what I wanted to point out is that whether it happens to be lawn care turf, sport turf, or in this case pretty well maintained uh, uh, the, the type of turf that you would find on a golf course fairway, the things you've got to look for are these what look like maybe dry spots and, and as I come over here you can see what looks like a lot of we just call it localized dry spot it's quite often where a fungus will form a little hydrophobic area and the water can't get through it the grass kinds of dry up and, and so forth but don't assume that's what it is because what you can be having at this time of the year we might have be having the population of white grubs that are coming in they may be eating the roots off of this and really the only way that you can tell this you can't tell just by looking at it you're going to have to come in pull on the turf now in this particular case oh that that seems pretty tight right there let's go try this area over here oh my goodness this thing is it's it just like a loose carpet in here now if we sort of tear this open oh my there are grubs galore in here and what you're seeing here, these are the white grubs. Uh, these are the, the larvae of the Japanese beetle and the mass chafer here in Ohio. They've been feeding here all July and August, and now they're just about mature. And when they get into this stage, what I call the land shrimp size, this is the time that the skunks and raccoons also come and dig them up. So what do you do about this? Well, what you're going to need to do is apply what we call a rescue grub treatment. Now, to make that rescue grub treatment work, First, you've got to go to the garden center, get the product. If you're a professional, what you'd probably want to use is something that contains either Dilox or Clothianidin. Those are the two insecticides that work best at this time of the year. The other key is you've got to get that insecticide from the top to where the grubs are. And the key to that is water, water, water. You're going to have to irrigate. We often recommend up to a half an inch of water. If you don't have access to irrigation, you need to wait until there's a rain front going to come through, apply your insecticide and hope the rain washes it down to the grubs where they'll pick it up and kill them.